In a small ancient village near the city, the streets are filled with dust and people move about their daily routines. Suddenly, from the shadows, a man with leprosy emerges. His skin is pale and scarred, and his clothes are torn and dirty. He walks hesitantly, keeping his distance from others, his eyes filled with pain. Ahead of him, Jesus walks through the village, surrounded by his disciples, teaching as they go. The man with leprosy, realizing that Jesus is the one he's heard about, drops to his knees in the middle of the street. His hands shake as he lifts them toward Jesus. He cries out, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. His voice is filled with desperation and hope. The crowd around them watches, some stepping back in fear of the leper. Without hesitation, Jesus stretches out his hand and touches the man. The crowd gasps in shock, for no one touches a leper. Jesus, however, remains calm and focused. As his hand touches the man's shoulder, a soft light surrounds them. Jesus says, I am willing, be clean. Instantly, the man begins to feel a change in his body. In an instant, the man's skin begins to heal. The sores vanish. The paleness is replaced by vibrant color, and his face looks clear and healthy. The man stares at his hands, wide-eyed, watching his transformation. He stands, trembling in awe, unable to believe what has just happened. The crowd murmurs in amazement, some pointing at the miracle. The man, still overwhelmed, looks at Jesus, his face full of gratitude. Jesus, smiling warmly, instructs him, Don't tell anyone, but go. Show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Well, the man nods in understanding, filled with awe and reverence for the teacher who just saved him. As the man walks away to follow Jesus' instructions, the village buzzes with excitement. Word of the miracle spreads quickly, and soon more people come seeking Jesus for healing. However, Jesus chooses to leave the village for a while, retreating to a quiet, isolated place in the countryside. He kneels beneath a large olive tree and prays alone, seeking peace and communion with his Father.